Welcome, this is Carrie Schell from On Point Quilter. Have you ever designed a quilt and then you just want to know what would this look like if I set it on point? Or what if I wanted to use it as the center of a medallion quilt? In this tutorial, we're going to take a quilt that was designed during a previous blog post and make it the center of a medallion quilt. And this is super simple to do, and I think you're going to enjoy the tutorial. I started by opening the mitten quilt that was designed during the last blog post. As I've been pondering this quilt, I've been thinking about what would it look like if I used this as a center for a medallion. So let's start by selecting a medallion quilt to work on. The fastest is to find one in the quilt library. So select New Quilt, select Open Library, navigate to the EQ Layout Library, and we want to go to Layouts by Style, select Medallions on Point, select the first medallion, and select Edit to Quilt Work Table. In order to determine if this would be a good quilt, I'd like to start by figuring out the sizes of the blocks in the quilt. So go to the Fabric Tools, select the paintbrush, and let's color one of each size block. Then select Print and Export. Select Rotary Cutting and you have to actually select the block first. So let's start with the center. Select Rotary Cutting and you'll notice that the finished block size is 42 and a half inches. Now that is not actually useful because we want to know the square size. And so if we do preview, we can see that the rotary cutting size is 30 and a half inches. Now we'll subtract a half inch for seam allowances, which means our finished size of the block should be 30 inches. Then we'll go ahead and close, select the uh, second block, also do a rotary cutting, do a preview. Note that the cut size is six and a half, which means the finish size is six inches. Then go ahead and close, and now select the small block, followed by rotary cutting, do a preview, and this block is three and a half inches cut or three inches finished. So go ahead and close that. Now let's view the project sketchbook and find the quilt mitten quilt that was designed and select edit. And we don't need to save this first one. This quilt, as shown in the at the bottom, is 29 and a quarter inches, which is really close to the 30 inches that we want to work with. So we want to change this to 30 inches, and the easiest way is to adjust the border. So select the border tab and make sure lock size adjustments is set to all, and just click to the right of one of the slider bars and we're going to do that until our finished size reads around 30 inches. And that will actually change this border to 0.875. And I will also uh, go ahead and just change this to a long horizontal border. Then go to the Design tab and let's color the border. And we are going to turn off Hide Show Quilt Patch Lines. Rather than rebuilding the quilt in a medallion layout, we're going to set a photo of the quilt in that layout. On the main menu, select Quilt, followed by Add to Sketchbook as Photo. Also select Add to Project Sketchbook. Then view the Project Sketchbook, go to the Photos tab, select the quilt, and select Edit to Image Work Table. Select Crop, move the dotted lines surrounding the block so that they are actually touching the outline of the quilt. And then select Apply Crop and select Add to Sketchbook. Now view the project sketchbook, go to the Quilts tab and select the medallion layout and select Edit. 
select Photo Tools, followed by Set Photo, find the quilt image we just saved, and set it in the center of the quilt. Next, let's create three different 6-inch blocks. Select the block work table and we're going to start by a new block and select open library. Do a search by note card for penguin. Select this particular penguin and select edit to block work table. This is a polydraw applique block and I want to put folded corners in the upper left and right corners. The easiest way to do that is just to draw the half square triangle. Select the polyline tool and double click at your first point, single click at your intermediate points, and double click at the first point to finish. Then it's selected with the pick tool. Go ahead and clone flip left to right and move that to the upper right corner. Now go to the color tab and color this and select add to project sketchbook. Go to the quilt work table and go to block tools set block single click on the center block in all four corners. Then go back to the block work table and now do a new block pieced easy draw. Set, set the block width and height at 6 and set the snaps at 6 by 6 and snapping options should be just snap to grid. Start by selecting the grid tool and set the columns and rows to 3 and drag a grid, grid from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Then select the line tool and draw two long diagonal lines. Go to color and back to draw and now use the pick tool and delete the square in the lower right corner. Go to the color tab and color this and select add to project sketchbook. Then select New Block Pieced Easy Draw and select the Line Tool and draw a line at 2 inches and then select the Grid Tool and change the number of rows to 2 and drag the grid through the lower two-thirds of the block. Then select the Line Tool and draw uh, two diagonal lines in the middle section of the block. Go to the Color tab and color this and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Go to the Quilt Work Table and now with Set Block select um, the first block and we're going to put that on the right and the left of each of the penguins and we'll take the second block and put him on top of each of the penguins. Now go ahead and rotate the blocks. Now we need a block for the 3 inch squares. Go back to the block work table and select New Block Pieced Easy Draw. Change the block width and height to 3. Select the line tool and draw a diagonal line from 1 inch on the left to 2 inches on the bottom. Go to the color tab and color this and select Add to Project Sketchbook. Go to the Quilt Work Table, select Set Block, and set that in each of the 3 inch squares, and rotate as necessary. Select Fabric Tools and color the setting triangles. Then go to the Border tab, and let's increase this border to 1 and a half inches. Go to the Design tab and color that. And I decided that I would like to bring the snowflake into the corners. So select Layer 2. Under Block Tools, do a Set Block. Go to Motifs and find the snowflake. Drag that on the quilt. Select it with the Adjust tool and you will notice that it's probably a little large. 
So let's go ahead and change the size to 5 inches. Um, let's make sure we've got snap block position to grid off and just position that in the corner. Then go ahead and select copy followed by three paste and let's put that in the other corners. Then select hide show quilt patch lines and select add to project sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com.